Hi, and thank you for choosing quality water treatment. Today we're going to go over the programming for your Soft Pro Catalox iron filter. The first thing I want to note is you should have got a white slid cone just like this. That cone pushes into the center of the bottom of the control valve and twists to the right to lock into place. It needs to go on the valve before putting the control valve on the tank. If you did not do that, you'll need to take the valve off and do it. If the system's already in service, it'll need to be depressurized first. So please give us a call if you're unsure on how to do that. Our phone number is 866-278-4130. Again, that is 866 866- 278-4130. You can also send us an email to help at qualitywatertreatment.com. Again, that is help at qualitywatertreatment.com. Our office hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Again, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. You will Notice that on the left-hand side of the valve, if you're looking at the screen, there is a brine line nut and port. You will need a 3 8 female threaded cap or plug to replace that brine line nut with. Again, it's a 3 8 female threaded cap or plug just to keep uh, the little bit of water that will spray out of there from getting on your wall or floor. Now, once you have the system powered up, you're going to want to start off by unlocking the valve. To do that, you hold the menu key till it beeps. Once you hear it beep, and you have this display screen here, if you end up on this screen, simply push the menu button once, and it should bring you back to here. Then hold your up and down arrow at the same time till it beeps. The screen may blank out, that's okay. Keep holding them. Factory mode, go ahead and scroll down and look for auto calculation. Once that's highlighted, hit set. You're gonna wanna turn this off with the up or down key. Once off is highlighted, hit set. Setting complete, menu to return. Now I want you to hit the menu button. Again, it may blank out. That's okay. It'll come back. Once you're back on this screen here, hit the menu button once. We'll start off by setting the date and time. When that's highlighted, hit set to enter. You're going to do one digit at a time, starting with your day. Use the up or down arrow to adjust it. When you have it on what you want, go ahead and hit set, followed by the month set then your year set it's going to kick you over the time of day go ahead and set your hour first set and your minutes set followed by a.m or p.m you want to make sure you have it on the appropriate time because it will affect when your system regenerates it is set for 2 a.m I will show you how to change that. If you do have a water softener, you don't want them to be set at the same time. So we will go into how to change that. Once you have that on AM or PM, go ahead and hit set. Setting complete menu to return. Go ahead and scroll down until main menu is highlighted. Once it is, go ahead and hit set. You'll notice regen time settings highlighted. I'm going to go ahead and hit set and go in here. Now, again, if you have a water softener and it's set for 2 a.m., which is what most softeners typically are, go ahead and set this for 1 in the morning or 12.30 at night if that's a viable option for you. This system only takes about 30 minutes to regenerate, so it should be done well before your softener and cause no issues if they were to regenerate on the same night. Once you have that where you want, go ahead and hit set to lock it in place. 
it's one digit at a time, by the way. So you want to make sure to set whichever ones you need to. It's already on AM, so go ahead and hit set. Setting complete, menu to return. We're going to scroll down to advanced menu. When that's highlighted, hold set till it beeps. Once you're in advanced menu, I want you to scroll down to regen cycles. Hit set. Yours may be backwash duration first rather than brine draw. That's all right. If it is backwash, go into that first. And you want to make sure to set that at 10 minutes. And hit set. Setting complete menu to return. Then do your brine draw duration, which we're going to set at zero. This time will vary depending on what size unit you got. But regardless, it's always going to be zero across on the brine draw. It is one digit at a time. So in order to move the cursor over to the next digit, you need to hit set. The first digit is already zero, so you're going to hit set. Use the down key to put this at zero. Hit set. And then make sure the last digit's at zero as well. Go ahead and hit set. Set and complete menu to return. Go down to your rinse duration. And set that to 10 minutes. Set. Menu to return. Finally, we're going to go to the refill duration. And you're only going to zero this out all the way across. The first digit's already zero, so we're going to hit set. Zero, set. One more time. Zero as well, set. Setting complete. Menu to return. Now we're just going to go ahead and hit the menu button once. So we're back in advanced menu. I do want you to go up until backwash rinse override is highlighted and go ahead and hit set. Mine's already off, but I want to make sure that that setting is off for you. So if it is highlighted on, use the up or down arrow to toggle it over to off and hit set. Set and complete, menu to return. Now I want you to look for regen mode. When that's highlighted, hit set. You're going to want to set it on days, which is going to be at the very top. Days is highlighted, hit set, set and complete, menu to return. You should be back on the advanced menu now. What I want you to do is just tap the menu button once. So you're on the main menu. You should see regen day setting. I'm going to scroll up to that till it's highlighted and hit set. Now you want it to be at four days. Mine's already set at that. You can use the up or down arrow to adjust it as need be. Once it's at four days, go ahead and hit set. Set and complete, menu to return. Tap the menu button a couple times until you're back on this display screen here. And your Soft Pro Catalog's Iron Filter is now programmed and ready to use. Just a side note, the first four days of the system being in service, you are going to want to regenerate it every day manually. And then every four days after that is fine, and it'll do that automatically. To do a manual regeneration, you'll have to unlock your valve if you've been away from it for a few minutes by holding the menu key till it beeps. Once your valve is unlocked, or if it's already unlocked, tap the menu key once. Scroll down to manual regeneration. When that's highlighted, hit set. It'll say Regen Tonight and Regen Now above it. Use the up arrow to re highlight Regen Now and hit Set, and that'll start a regeneration. Again, you want to do that once a day for the first four days. The Catalogs Media is very fine, so it helps clean it out. And then every four days after that should be good to go. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Have a great day.